We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. No weapon formed against us and can prosper, Lord. Your word says, Lord, we stand in your promise. Lord, we stand in your word. Lord, we stand today in who you are, who you say you are, who you say we are, God. We praise you. We worship you. We exalt you. Jesus, you're the King of kings and you're the Lord of lords. Jesus, you are not a president that gets voted in. Your word is not debated by a supreme court or the justices, but your word is eternal, settled in heavens. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we exalt you. Right now, as we are in the, we're standing in the presence of God, also we are standing in a very, very unique time in the history of the United States. We're standing in a very challenging time. What is happening politically, and I know that it has affected many people emotionally some people are affected also spiritually a lot of things are hanging also in balance when it comes to even ministry of prophecy and if you see pastor Ilya's uh, post this morning almost every prophetic voice uh, declared that uh, mr. Donald Trump is gonna be a president in the second term and him if he will not win the election there's a lot of shadow that's gonna be cast on the prophetic ministry and so there's a lot of things that are happening right now in this nation. Every time somebody wins an election, half of the country is upset for like three weeks. That's just normal. But we as Christians, we must understand first and foremost that we belong not to a Republican party, not to a Democratic party, not to an independent party. We belong first and foremost to the family, to the kingdom. And we belong to the party of Jesus, first and foremost. We're not American first and Christian seconds. We are Christian first and American second. Come on somebody. And my Bible makes me to understand, if my people go and vote, I will heal their land. Oh wait, that's not what it says. It doesn't say if my people will vote, I will heal their land. Voting is important. Going into the government is important as going into the medical educational system is important. We are people of the kingdom. But my friends, there's something that we have that nobody else has. Is we have a spiritual weapon called the Word of God. We have the spiritual weapon called prayer. We have the spiritual weapon called fasting. Come on somebody. And we establish the kingdom of God on this earth through preaching the gospel. We establish the kingdom of God on this earth by healing the sick. We establish the kingdom of God on this earth by loving our neighbor. We establish the kingdom of God on this earth by praying and by fasting. And we establish the kingdom of God on this earth by anticipating and expecting the supernatural and the miracles. Come on somebody. Come on somebody. I'm going to invite you today to a time of prayer. Today the service will be a little bit different. I want us to come back to prayer. I want us, this is a house of prayer. It's important that we have preaching. It's important that we have worship. But at the end of the day, we are called. Posting online doesn't change our country as much as praying for our country changes our country. Commenting on somebody's political post is not going to make a difference as getting on your knee before God and saying, Lord, have mercy on our nation. Lord have mercy on our city. Lord have mercy on my family. Lord have mercy on me. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who offend us. Come on somebody. I want to invite you. If you're a Christian and you recognize that your number one call first and foremost is to pray. I want you to come out of your seat and I want you to come here to the front, to the altar and we're gonna pray. We are going to pray for our families. We're gonna pray. Bring your family with you. You come. You come. And we're going to humble ourselves before the Lord today and seek His face. The scripture says, In this matter, therefore, pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. I want first and foremost to, for us to take a moment as a church. And if the ushers can help to push the pews out a little bit slightly, uh, the, the front pews. You don't have to come to the front. You can stay wherever you're at. If you're watching us on live stream right now, you can kneel right before your screen. You can kneel right before your phone. And right now, let's get before God. Let's, let's right now humble ourselves before God. 
and seek the Lord's face. We voted, we commented, we let our voices heard but today we're gonna hear our, let our voices be heard in a different realm. We're gonna let our voices be heard in a different sphere and that is the sphere where it matters. That is a sphere where real changes are being made. Not in the White House but at the White Throne. That is the sphere where changes are gonna be made. Before we pray for our country, before we pray for our world, before we pray for our city, I want us to lift our hands right now to heaven and I want us to say our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. I want us to exalt his name right now above every fear, every confusion, every division, every political agenda. I want us to lift up the Father who's the maker of galaxies, the maker of the earth, the maker of very heart that you and I have. And begin to say, our oh, Father, we belong to your family. You are in heaven, but you rule on the earth. Hallowed be your name. Holy is your name. We worship you. I know we worship with the song, but I want you to worship with your mouth right now. Worship verbally. Verbalize your praise. Verbalize your worship right now. Father, we come before you. We ask you. We worship your awesome name. Jesus, hallowed be your name. God, we worship your awesome name. We thank you. God, that you are maker of heaven and earth. We thank you, God, that no one, no matter, God, what is going on on earth, your kingdom still reigns. Your name is still on, on high. God, you still reign on the throne. Father, we worship your awesome name. God, that you are creator and you are maker. God, that you are the first and the last. God, that you are alpha and omega. We worship your awesome name. No matter, God, what happens in our nation, God, your name is worthy to be praised. We worship your awesome name, God. We thank you for everything, God, that you've done. No matter what's going on, God, that you are still on the throne. God, no matter what happens in our elections, your name still reigns on high. We worship you. God, that you are maker of the galaxies, God that you hold heaven and earth in your hands we worship you Jesus Come we on, thank you for your awesome name God, we glorify you begin to just worship him that his name is holy we worship who you are and fill with your heart and lead me in your love to those all to those around me and holy there is no your name Lord you are our father you're the maker of heaven and the earth you're the creator of what is seen and what is unseen and Lord your name is holy let your name be honored let your name be exalted on the earth let your name be exalted in the heavens Lord we praise you Lord we lift up a cry from our heart in the midst of whatever that we are going through, in the midst of whatever is happening with the pandemic, with the elections, with our personal struggles, with our personal pains, God, with the struggles that is happening all around the world as people are watching us on YouTube right now, Lord. Lord, we exalt your name. We exalt your name. We don't want to exaggerate the problem. We exalt your awesome name. We exalt your character. 
We exalt your word. We exalt your truth, God. We love you and we praise you. Hallelujah. I want you to rise to your feet. The scripture says, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. And then Jesus tells us to pray like this. He said, Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Right now, that's what we're going to pray for. We are going to pray this prayer that the Lord taught us to pray. Your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. The Bible says in the last days, the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ will crush all other kingdoms. My friend, as much as I'm proud to be an American, as much as I am so honored to live and I don't take this for granted in the midst of all the struggles that this country has, weaknesses and problems that it has, it is I believe it's still the best country to live in. But at the end of the day, the Bible says that God will raise a kingdom that will not be destroyed by man. This kingdom like a rock, it will crush all other kingdoms and it itself will remain forever. This is the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. This kingdom is not political, but it will overrule political kingdoms. This kingdom is not physical, but it will eventually be physical. This kingdom is spiritual and this kingdom is first in the heart of man. Something that Alexander the Great, something that Napoleon, something that Hitler, something that no president, no governor and no ruler could ever conquer was the heart of man. They could conquer with power, with missiles and with weapons, but Jesus conquered it with his power of the Spirit. And today we're going to pray for the Lord. Let your kingdom come into this nation. Everywhere we go, let your kingdom advance. The kingdom that sets the captives free. The kingdom of joy, righteousness and peace. The kingdom of physical healing and deliverance. The kingdom of God's love and God's mercy and God's reconciliation. In Jesus name every hand lifted high right now for the next two minutes begin to pray Lord let your kingdom come come on let's begin to pray right now from the back to the front everyone on live stream come on agree with me right now let me know where you're watching from and agree with us agree with us for the kingdom to come Heavenly Father right now we lift up a voice right now to your throne God we're asking God Lord let your kingdom come Lord on earth as it is in heaven Father God Father, as your ambassadors, we give you permission to move here in our land, God. Let your kingdom come, Lord. Let your will be done in this nation, God. Heal our land, Father. Let your kingdom come, God. Heal, deliver, and save, Father, as we lift up our voice, God. As we lift up our hands to the throne, God. We're giving you permission to move in this land, God. Have your way, oh God. Not our will, but your will be done on this land, God. Let your kingdom come, God. With glory, stretch out your hands to heal, God. Stretch out your hands to save, Lord. Stretch out your hands to deliver, oh God. Let your kingdom come on this world, God. Father, we give you permission, God. We give you permission to move, God. We give you permission to move this land, God. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done, oh God. Yes, it is in heaven. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Oh, here on earth. Yes, it is in heaven. Oh, Lord, your kingdom come. And your will be done. Oh, here on earth. Yes, it is in heaven. your kingdom come, let your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven, oh as it is in heaven, just as it is in heaven. Come on, right now, sing it out, as it sing is it out. In heaven, come on, oh, sing it out right now, that, that prayer to God, sing it out, that prayer right now. Let your kingdom come, let your will be done. Let your will be done here on earth, here on earth, as it is in as heaven. It is in heaven. Come on, one more time, Lord. Let your kingdom 
So said, let your kingdom come. And then he said, your will be done. Right now we want to take a moment and pray for the will of God. Now I understand that for some of you maybe you are used to by this time we already are you know seated down. I do want to remind you church is a house of prayer. And so for those of you who maybe kind of not used to some prayer, um, I want you to right now refresh your mind. Engage in prayer engage in prayer engage with prayer don't just watch don't just if you have nothing to say just just repeat the same prayer again and again and again and the best prayer to pray is not lord let this guy win let this guy lose the best prayer to pray is the one that jesus told us to pray this is the most accurate prayer every other prayer it's good but this is the best prayer to pray you will never be wrong you know 100 percent you're hitting a bullseye when you're praying this prayer your kingdom come but right now this is where we're going to transition we're going to pray lord your will be done and you know what god's will is is that none will perish we know what god's will is is that everyone will know jesus you know what God's will is? Is that people will be healed. You know what God's will is? Is that God will bring prosperity to our nation that people will not live in object poverty. And so right now I want us to begin to pray. If you have loved ones and friends who don't know the Lord, let's begin to right now pray for them. Let's begin to lift our voice and pray for the salvation of masses. Salvation of masses to come to know the Lord. I want you to close your eyes for this prayer. I want you to imagine masses of people coming to know the Lord. And I want you to lift up your voice and begin to say, Lord, I pray that your will be done your will be done on earth as it is in heaven your will to save the lost your will to rescue the lost let's pray church father we come before you we ask you god that your kingdom come god that your will be done god here on earth as it is in heaven we ask you that you save our nation god we as a nation we repent of our sin god you said god if my people who are called by my name humble themselves before you you will forgive their sins and heal their land we ask you heal our nation save our nation God save masses that thousands locally will be saved God that millions globally will be saved that we'll see the young and the old coming to you Lord Jesus that in the last days you will pour out your spirit on all flesh we decree and we declare masses to be saved to be saved God save our cities save our nation save our country in Jesus mighty name in Jesus name come on every hand raised right now we're gonna pray once again for this right now for the revival of salvation Lord we lift up our voice Lord we lift up our voice on behalf of our city we lift up our voice on behalf of our nation we lift up our voice right now Lord on behalf of our family and our relatives Lord we know that salvation is not just a ticket salvation is eternal life we know that hell is real and hell is hot we know that the only way to salvation is Jesus we pray against every spirit of deception we pray pray against God the strongholds in people's minds today we ask you that there will be a revival of salvations in the churches in our city and there will be a revival of revival of salvations God we know father that only you can save we know that only you can rescue Lord in Jesus mighty name in the name of Jesus we ask you for your will to be done let our services have salvations every service let our life groups have salvations let salvations happen on our live streams God every day let us be witnesses let us be the light father at our work at our school to carry the gospel in Jesus mighty name in Jesus name the scripture says after that give us this day our daily bread today being a breakthrough service 
I want us to pray. It is the will of God that you ask God for your daily bread. Daily bread includes your housing. Daily bread includes your career. Daily bread includes your day-to-day -day jobs, careers, and schools. And right now, we're going to begin to pray for that. If you have a phone on you or a wallet in you, I want you to take it out right now. We're going to begin to pray for our daily bread. We're going to begin to pray for businesses, for careers. We're going to begin to pray right now for financial needs that you might have, for dreams that you have right now, because this is the will of God, that God will supply our needs according to your riches and according to His glory. If you're looking for a job, ask God for a daily bread. If you're looking for promotion, ask God for a daily bread. If you're looking for a house right now, ask God for a daily bread. If your credit score is all whacked up, destroyed, ask God for a daily bread. If you're about to start a business, ask God for a daily bread. If it's not going through your business, it's, it's just maybe you lost the business, ask God for a daily bread. Come on church, let's lift our voice right now and pray passionately. God, give us our daily bread. Give us supernatural supply. God, open doors that no man can open. God, pour the windows of heaven. Let the, let the windows of heaven be open up our finances God yes Lord. Holy Spirit we pray for our daily bread Lord God that you would provide God for our schools Lord for our homes for our families Lord for our job opportunities God every single thing Lord that you promised us Lord Lord before the foundations of the earth were created God Lord you said in your word that you would provide that you would heal you would restore God and we ask you that you will restore what the canker worm stole, God, that you would restore our finances, that you would restore our pockets, God. Lord, every single desire, God, that you would fund, Lord. Lord, we need the cars and we need, Lord, the books, God. But, Lord, you said that you would provide, God. And so we declare, we believe what your word says. Your word says that you shall do it, Lord. You shall make it new again, Lord. And so we declare, God, you would have provide our daily bread in the name of Jesus Lord we declare your breakthrough right now over this house we declare your breakthrough right now over every person that is watching us on live stream Lord we declare a daily manna we declare God milk and honey we declare that you will supply our needs according to your riches and your glory we declare God that you will find pleasure in the prosperity of your servants we declare God that we will prosper as our soul prospers and we will be in good health Lord we decree and declare God that it is in your will God it is your desire God to supply our needs Lord God that you will take care of us God there will be open doors even this week Lord God and there will be a supernatural provision God and there will be a supernatural supply in Jesus mighty name in the name of Jesus the scripture says and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors I want us right now to begin to break every spirit of offense over our house nothing drives people away from the church than spirit of offense even sin is not that powerful because people through sin come back to the Lord they get broken but offense can turn people into craziness and right now let's begin to break spirit of offense let's begin to right now renounce every offense every unforgiveness every offense begin to say Lord forgive me for that Lord I release myself I release those people right now in the name of Jesus if you've been hurt abused taken advantage of something was said over you and you're harboring offense right now let's pray this prayer Jesus taught us to pray forgive us our sins as we forgive those that sinned against us we renounce offense we break the grip of spirit of unforgiveness the spirit of anger spirit of bitterness spirit of betrayal we break the rejection over our life in Jesus mighty name come on let's begin to right now go into warfare let's begin to go into warfare this is the time of freedom this is the time of deliverance right now father in Jesus name God we forgive those God that offended us father we release those that hurt us Lord Jesus we are not holding on God to to God to bring to bring justice to ourselves God Lord we give it into your hands because you're just judge Lord those that wronged us God we release them God we will not require of them God Lord we leave God we leave it into your hands Lord I pray God that you give us strength God I pray God that you heal our wounds God Lord that we will not seek revenge God that we will not seek Lord Lord that we will not
not seek God to God uh, prove us right, uh, God, to prove ourselves right, Lord, but that we will let go of things, God, that we will forgive, Lord, that we will forgive as you've forgiven us, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we renounce every offense. Lord, we renounce every offense. Lord, we choose not to dwell on the things that were done to us. We choose not to meditate, God, on the things, God, that were, God, that, that hurt us, Lord. People that hurt us, God. You've forgiven us much, God. We will forgive as well, God. Lord, you, God, forgiven us so much, God. Lord, we have no right, God, to hold other people, God, to hold them accountable and against us, God, in Jesus' name. Lord, forgive us, God. Forgive us for harboring offense, Lord. And Lord, we forgive others. We release others, God. We care more about your blessing and your approval, God. We care more about, Lord, being, you being pleased with us, God. Help us to live pure, God. Help us to live righteous, Lord. Help us to, God, to keep our mind pure and clean from every offense, God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And the Bible says that, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. I believe that God wants to deliver people today and deliver us is as easy as breathing in the presence of God. I want us right now to come together before the throne of God. If you have something that you're addicted to, something that is besetting sin, a repeated cycle, today let's believe for freedom. Let's believe for deliverance to take place and pray, deliver us from evil. Lead us not into temptation. I want you to say this with me. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I, repent I repent for opening my life, opening my life to the influence of darkness. Influence of darkness. I, release forgiveness I release forgiveness to those who wrong me. To those who wrong Wash me with your blood. Wash me with your blood. And right now, right now I, take my authority I take my authority as a child of God. As a child of God. I ask you, I ask you deliver, me deliver me from evil. From evil. Deliver me, Deliver me from chains, from chains. In, Jesus name. in Jesus name. Any chain, Any chain that Satan might have used, Satan might have used to, connect me to connect me to his kingdom of darkness. To his kingdom of darkness. Right, now, right now, I break it down. I break it down. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Chain of addiction. Chain of addiction. Chain of sin, chain of, sin. Chain of generational curses, chain of, generational curses. Chain, of bitterness. chain of bitterness, chain of sexual sin, chain of, sexual sin. Chain of the devil, chain of the be, devil. Broken. be broken, 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 every evil that you've been bound by every evil that you've been enslaved by every intrusive dominant thought every nightmare every sexual dream everything that the enemy has used right now begin to lose yourself begin to break that chain in jesus mighty name we come against every chain every chain of addiction be broken in jesus mighty name every chain of lust be broken in jesus mighty name every chain that satan might have used to connect us to himself be broken in jesus jesus mighty name we disconnect ourselves right now in the mighty name of jesus we disconnect ourselves we lose ourselves in jesus mighty name every chain satan might have used be broken in jesus mighty name be broken in jesus mighty name every addiction be broken in jesus mighty name we disconnect ourselves we uproot that plan in jesus mighty name we free ourselves from those shackles and chains in jesus mighty name be free in jesus mighty name be loosed in jesus mighty name be loosed in jesus mighty name be free in your mind in jesus mighty name soul be free in jesus mighty name. every addiction every bondage every weight be loosed in jesus mighty name we disconnect ourselves we separate ourselves in jesus mighty name. and the bible says the scripture says after that for yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever amen come on every hand raised right now i want you to rise to your feet one more time and right now begin to just declare that to god that yours is the kingdom yours is the power yours is the glory is the power yours is the glory forever amen Every name yours is Jesus' is the name. Kingdom, yours is the power, yours is the glory forever and ever. Amen. Oh, yours is the kingdom, yours. Power, yours is the glory forever. Amen. Yours is the kingdom. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Praise you, Lord. Jesus is a soon coming king. He was born a king. He didn't get voted in. He's not going to get voted out. His word is the constitution. It doesn't get debated on the night news or Saturday night live. His word is established in heavens. Come on, somebody. And we love the Lord. We praise him. Give somebody an ear high five as you go back to your seat. Hallelujah.